In addition to using the built-in macros, you can also easily create your own, either just to make the graph a little easier to read, or to make reusable graph snippets for future projects. To illustrate how to create your own macros, we'll make an example that rotates a segment using stepped increments. Firstly, to create a macro, drag a new macro node to the construction view. Right-click on the node and select Macro Edit. A new tab will open containing the macro's subgraph. Note that even though this is a subgraph, still any changes or additions that you make here will be evaluated in real time. You'll notice the macro node has no sockets. So to add these, we use new nodes which are called inputs and outputs. A macro can have multiple input sockets, but only one output socket. To add an output, in the Macro tab, drag a new output node from the items list to the construction view. From the Properties panel, choose your type from either Numeric or Segment, rename the output node, and now if you switch back to the main view, your macro will have the new output socket. To add inputs to a macro, drag a new input node to the construction view. From the Properties panel, change the type. You can choose from Spine, Clipping Spline, Surface or Segment. Rename the Input node and now if you switch back to the main view, you should see the new input will be added to the Macro node and it will have the same name. You'll generally create your new graph between these input and output nodes. Here we've created a simple graph that randomly multiplies a segment's rotation on the X, Y and or Z axis by a user defined step value. Most of the work here is happening in this arithmetic node. I'm not going to cover this in detail now. The mini tutorial is about using the macro tools. But to summarize it, the first line finds the number of possible increments there are in 360 degrees and generates a random integer between zero and this value. The second line simply multiplies this by the step value to create a random stepped rotation. Now obviously we don't want to have to open the macro to change the step values, so to add them as parameters to the new macro's properties panel, you just add numeric nodes in the normal way. Here I'm adding a new parameter for the x step value, one for the y step value, and a third one for the z step value. If we switch back to the main view and look in the nodes properties panel, we can see that these numeric nodes have added new parameters. In the last step, we'll change the order of the parameters. Return to the Macro tab and go to the Macro, Define Parameter Order menu. From here, you can use the arrows to change the order of the parameters. When you're done, click OK and the changes will be saved. If we return to the main view, your macro's parameters are updated. Finally, if you'd like to be able to easily use this macro again or share it with friends and colleagues, just give it a name and save it by right-clicking on the node and choosing Macro Save As. Once you've saved a macro, to load it, create a new macro node, right-click on it and select Macro Load From. Pick a saved macro file which will have the extension RCM and just click Open. The macro is now loaded into the graph and it's as easy as that.